Hi, this is Jaya. In this video, we shall see the summary of On Killing a Tree, a poem by Give Patel. Give Patel is a famous Indian poet, playwright, painter, physician and artist. He also belongs to Green Movement, which is involved in an effort to protect the environment. His most famous works are Mirrored, Mirroring, Mr. Behram and other plays, Give Patel, Sculptures and Drawings. And this poem, On Killing a Tree, has been taken from his anthology named Poems. Here, he gives a graphic picture of man's cruelty towards the tree, which actually symbolizes nature. He gives us step-by-step -step instructions on how to kill a tree and makes us realize that killing a tree is akin to murdering a human being. He also refers to the destructive nature of humans and the indestructibility of nature. On Killing a Tree paints a vivid and brutal picture of what is involved in killing a tree. He tells us that killing a tree is a difficult and time-consuming process. Simply stabbing it with a knife is not enough to kill a tree. A tree grows straight out of the earth, getting its nourishment from the nutrients found in the earth along with years of sunlight, water and air. The leaves and branches of the tree sprout from its bark which looks diseased because it is irregular and scaly. Hacking a tree with an axe or chopping off a bow may inflict pain on the tree. But that is not enough to bring down a tree. The wound in the bark from where the sap flows out or where a bow has been chopped off will heal with time. New green twigs will grow again. Bows that were chopped off will be replaced by new bows which will grow to their former size. He then goes on to give instructions on how a tree can be killed. He uses the term anchoring earth which implies that earth trees are held secure with the help of the roots of the earth. So, long as the roots are firmly held by the earth, the tree is safe and cannot be killed by a simple jab of a knife. To kill the tree, it is essential that the root, which is actually the source of the tree's life, must be pulled out of its deep hole in the earth. By earth cave, he suggests the space created in the earth by uprooting a tree. Once the root is exposed, the tree becomes vulnerable. If it is exposed to the sun and air, this source will be scorched. Slowly, the roots will start to become brown with all the softness fading out and as time passes, it will wither. The roots will become dry and bent out of shape, leaving a corpse where the tree used to be. That is, the tree would be dead and only the dead tree will be there. Now, let's read the poem. It takes much time to kill a tree. Not a simple jab of the knife will do it. It has grown slowly, consuming the earth, rising out of it, feeding upon its crust, absorbing years of sunlight, air, water, and out of its leprous hide, sprouting leaves. So hack and chop, but this alone won't do it. Not so much pain will do it. The bleeding bark will heal, and from close to the ground will rise curled green twigs, miniature boughs, which if unchecked will expand again to form a size. No, the root is to be pulled out, out of the anchoring earth. It is to be roped, tied and pulled out, snapped out or pulled out entirely, out from the earth cave. And the strength of the tree exposed the source, white and wet, the most sensitive, hidden for years inside the earth. Then the matter of scorching and choking in sun and air, browning, hardening, twisting, withering. And then it is done. So actually he tells how much man has shown his cruelty towards the tree and how painstakingly he is killing nature, that is he is killing trees. It's a very, very touching poem. If you have anything more to add on to what I've said, please write it in the comment box, like the video, share it with your friends and if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and support. Thank you.